Hello everybody, this is uh, one of my, I guess, kind of medium sized larches. I have got uh, some very small larch and uh, a couple of larger larches. And this is one, the kind of medium sized one. And uh, today it's the 13th of July and uh, I've allowed this tree to get a little bit shaggy and a little bit overgrown. It does pay to let your trees grow out every now and again. It gives them an increased health and vigour. Um, if you're constantly pruning back and pruning back and pruning back, um, it can weaken the tree to the point where you've overworked it. And uh, now then essentially it croaks, which isn't uh, the aim of the game. One problem I've got with this tree, and uh, it's tending to grow in this direction, which is obscuring the trunk, and I actually think I've positioned it a bit badly in the pot in the first place, in that when you're looking at the pot square on, um, the tree is twisted somewhat. Um, the best view of the tree is when you've got the pot slightly twisted like so so I'm gonna have to repot this tree in the spring um, so I'm gonna put a red label in that will remind me that I want to repot it and uh, just rotate it slightly in the pot I did notice after I'd repotted it the last time um, but I didn't want to disturb it straight away and uh, just decided to let the tree go on and grow on. So I do want to rectify that a little, even now. Um, although, as I say, a repot will sort it out better. Um, but I'm going to remove most of this branch is a side branch of this main branch um, and I'm going to remove that portion there this piece that's growing across and that opens up the trunk again um, which is obviously more desirable to be able to see when you've built a nice trunk and this trunk has got some nice movement and some nice taper. Um, it's always nice to show that off. Okay, so the rest of this from this tree, I'm just going to be trimming it back. Hopefully, induce another flush of growth. This is a second flush of growth after an, an initial pinching that I did back in March. Um, I was going to make it a timey-wimey video and uh, unfortunately that's part of the footage that I lost. So no timey-wimey video on this one, or at least not from March anyway. Okay, some of this I can just pinch rather than cut. And as with many of my trees at the moment, um, bringing this back to the benches being a little overcrowded, um, we've got a little bit of a bald patch in back. Um, so I'm going to have to turn this around on the bench so that uh, this side is getting a little more light, I think. And then hopefully, maybe, I'll get something pop in here to compensate. It's quite difficult with larch, uh, and I don't know if I said this is a Japanese larch, um, quite difficult when they're in full leaf like this to always be able to get in and do the structural work. Um, so it's often better to leave that and do it over winter when the tree 
is there. I find, although I've got some pines and things you'll notice they don't feature very much on my channel, I find less and less interest in coniferous trees, um, and more in broadleaf, but I do love larches and I do love the fact that you get the best of both worlds, you get the spikiness and the, the gloriousness of the pine. Uh, with the beauty of the bare leaves in winter and I just love the contrast um, of bare branches against a blue sky in the winter or oh, this been England even against the grey sky in winter let's pinch out a bit of that foliage it's hiding that branch so there you go as I say this really ought to be its front with the pot slightly skew if um, let me know what you think down the bottom but yeah definitely gonna repot this in the spring and uh, change its position Here's that Cooper D come into play. Bless his cotton socks. As you can see, he's wearing socks uh, to try and save his paws because he's getting pressure sores where his joints are collapsing and uh, he's not walking on his pads properly. And she's not very impressed with having to wear socks. Cooper, Coop. Yeah, not very impressed. But um, it's going to be a question now of trying to stop him getting sores and infections and keeping him comfortable, keeping him occupied without him overdoing it. And he's just pulled off one of his socks as he's run over here. Put that back on. <laughs> and um, one day we'll have to make the horrible, horrible decision. But not today. And not for a while. But thank you everyone for all your kind words. So we'll give you a quick 360 again, as always. Um, for some reason, ah, spotted it. Bear with me. I was just going to say I'd lost the can, but it had obviously fallen off the table and uh, rolled underneath. So there's the can for scale. And uh, that gives you a good, good idea. That's a, just a regular drinks can that's been bashed and battered. In fact, even on camera, there's somewhere in one of my videos, there is a footage of an apple falling off the apple tree above my head, landing on that can and denting it in that way, but there you go. So that's it for this tree uh, for today. Uh, put it back on the bench. Thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Do all the usual YouTube things, the liking, the subscribing, the commenting, etc, etc. Uh, but most of all, Look after yourselves. Stay safe, everybody.